my god. They've crucified the Keeper of the Sword. design room for my first visit to the dark world. This chair makes me feel very uneasy. I better stay on my feet. I'm feeling very lightheaded and if I sat down I might not be able to get up again. Dreketh guard must have found out that the gunsmith traded me a gun and killed him. escaped when I shut off the power. I haven't done anything that made me feel this good since my first victory against the Ancients. into the water. resembles my own room. Scuff marks. This bookcase must have been moved across the floor recently. Weird. All of these checks are made out to the Department of Water and Power. That lunatic paid his water bill in advance up to the end of the year. Oh my god! Paul's house contains a dark world portal. I was right. He is the shapeshifter. I'll be damned. I saw this book in the dark world temple. It's the Necronomicon. What kind of crap is this? The book's open to a chapter about the other world. It seems that the spirits of the dead, whoever they are, are planning to send a messenger to cleanse the Prime World. I've seen this creature before, in my dreams. The sign of the Four. The Four what? Maybe I don't want to know. Hey, this picture is of Paul and Rita. And there's Mayor Fleming and Doc Larson. 
on here. Paul must be a devil worshiper too. This place is giving me the creeps. Keep your unclean hands off my things, Mike. You're here to stop the messenger from coming, aren't you? Well, then you shall be the first to be cleansed. Why did you try to kill me? I'm sorry, Mike. The voices told me to kill you. They said you were dangerous and must be stopped. What else did the voices tell you? They told us to prepare for the coming of the messenger. He will arrive any day now and cleanse the world. It has been foretold. We have seen it in our dreams and we have prepared our souls. What do you mean you prepared your souls? Don't you see? All three murder victims were members of our other world cult. The killer has taken us first because our minds are already prepared. What were these voices you heard? The spirits of the dead. We contacted them a year and a half ago during a seance I conducted. They wanted things. What kinds of things did the voices want? They wanted us to worship them. They taught us a ceremony. We used it and, though we didn't realize it, we became their slaves. Who's we? Rita and myself at first. Once we realized we were in contact with the spirits of the dead, we formed the other world cult so that we could maintain permanent contact. I saw a photo of you, Rita, Mayor Fleming, and Doc Larson. It was taken one night during a ceremony, when we were all still alive. The four of us were the Otherworld cult. Is that what all this occult stuff is about? Seances, contacting the dead? Yes. I've always been obsessed with occult science. That's why I formed the Other World Cult. I so wanted to make contact with my mother. She died when I was a child, you know. You mean to tell me you aren't the serial killer? Of course not, Mike. I could never have done such things. Only one as great and pure as the messenger can perform such deeds. I knew my time would come soon. Paul, you're starting to look awfully pale. Everything's growing dark. Oh my god, I killed him. Paul was obviously the shapeshifter. I don't care what he said. But who's going to believe me without any proof? The police will just say that I was jealous of him too. One thing's for sure. I've got to get out of here before someone finds me with the body. Inside me. 
this house knowing that she's dead. Dear Mom, not much happening lately. I went out with Mike Dawson the other night. He's a nice guy, but he has some emotional problems. In fact, he's starting to act like a sick puppy around me, and I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt him. Why, that bitch? She was never really interested in me. She was just toying with me. In a few minutes, I'm off to my reading group meeting across the street at Paul Cooper's house. Now he's somebody I'm really attracted to. Tall, handsome, and good at fixing things around the house. I'm glad I killed that creep. Well, gotta run. Paul gave me a ticket for a free psychic reading at the carnival. I'll give it a try this weekend and let you know what the future holds for me. Kiss Dad for me. Love, Rita. Ticket for a free psychic reading? I hope Rita didn't already use it because I don't have a clue about where to go from here. I've never been in Rita's bedroom before. It's not what I imagined it would look like. The decor is so odd. I look like hell. Pandora's business card. Rita stuck it to the mirror. You thought you had everything pretty much figured out, didn't you, Mikey boy? Well, I'd stop while I was ahead if I were you. The truth can be very ugly. Ha, 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 ha,